Hey guys, how are you doing today? Anthony here, and uh, wow, I really haven't seen you guys since the last decade, huh? Eh? Eh? No? Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're not here for the puns, we're here for uh, the knives, and this video I want to show you, it is currently January 4th, 2020 in the new year. Only the fourth day in, and I figured I'd show you, um, it's a new year. So I figured why not start the new year off right with a new knife rotation for the next seven days to two weeks just to uh, test out some new knives I got from Christmas and revisit some ones that I already enjoy. So without further ado, let's just uh, jump right into it, shall we? First on the docket, I'm not going in um, an order where it's best or worst I'm just going from biggest knife to smallest knife I just uh, have a couple of different uh, varieties and I just like um, all the options out there so anyway first on the docket we have a QB knife uh, D2 tool steel this one is the KU158B yeah right come on QB I love you guys and uh, your knives shop sharpen up to a mirror edge. Like, look at that. Holy crap. But, uh, yeah, I'll link you guys down below where you can get your knives like that if you want. I have a business card I'll pan at the end um, to give a plug to a buddy I met on Instagram. But we're not talking about that now. We're talking about the daily carries for the first week of 2020. So this is number one in my rotation from biggest. That is the KU158B. Alrighty, number two, I recently, actually, both of these knives are trade knives. I got this one from the guy who sharpened it for me, for uh, Open L number eight, and uh, Rat one or two, it's the bigger version of the Rat in Aus 8. I traded both of those for this guy, and I've been happy with that purchase, or uh, transaction, and uh, no regrets. This one is also a trade from a gentleman here on YouTube, Cutlery Lover. Uh, Jeff Smith, you, you all probably know him. If not, I'll put his link down below. I've been watching him for at least 10 years plus. He's a good guy and um, give, give him a follow. Anyway, I traded a knife sharpener, uh, my work sharp, because I wasn't really good at it. And I just had my buddy I can send these knives to to sharpen them instead. And I traded that sharpener for this knife. And this is the uh, CRKT Homefront. Yes, Aus 8 steel, but you know... Ken Onion Design, right? The home front has that field strip technology. We can take it apart, clean it if we need to. No tools needed. Just, uh, I'm loving this knife so far, so no complaints there. Um, next on my list, I got this from my, uh, loving mother. This is the Spyderco Mini Sub Hilt, or a little Sub Hilt. It's a CPM S35VN, I believe. Can you focus? Yeah, CPM S30, S30V. Alright. But yeah, all around good knife. I actually carried it earlier this week and tested out some cardboard with it. And uh, even with this hollow grind here, it just it slices. It's a chunky piece of uh, knife, but it gets the job done. And it, surprisingly for how chunky and heavy it is, it carries well even though when you put it in your pocket... You have a little bit sticking out, but it rides high, so it's not, 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 if I can speak. But hey, one take and we're going to get through this, right guys? Um, it carries well and not all the weight is at the bottom, so it's elevated a little bit, which I think is the reason why it carries well. But you'll see a review on the all these knives soon enough. Uh, I'm just going from my collection alphabetically and my reviews, so... Um, just be patient, they'll come when I get around to them. Anyway, next is my favorite knife, my grail knife. You've seen it all before in previous videos. This is the Kaiser Knives uh, Bag Leader Titanium. I do plan to have it anodized and have the blade with a nice copper wash and stuff. I want, I want something to match this pivot color here. I want to do like blue and gold with a copper wash. I'm a uh, Still brain brainstorming ideas, but um, S35VN steel. I had this one sharpened by my guy as well, and uh, I need to send it to him again. I find myself carrying this very often. I just 
just love this knife, but also I would hate for it to be stolen or pickpocketed, so I only carry it, you know, under the right occasions. But yeah, gray knife, ground knife, my mm, at least top three. Might be number one, but there is it's up there. I love this knife. Anyway, next. All right, we have four out of seven knives for each day of the week. And now we go to Old Reliable. Yep. Can we take a minute? Look at that edge, though. Sorry, but he does good work. Anyway, um, it's a backlock knife, stutter coat Delica. You know what? No. I'll own my stuttering and my mistakes. But no, I love this knife. Everyone should have a Delica in their collection, right? VG10 steel, full flat grind, just a slicey piece of work. And yeah. Everyone should own Delica, in my honest opinion, in their collection at least. Um, next, we have a knife that uh, I got from Christmas for my loving girlfriend. She got me this to match the other one that I got from the same set, the CRKT Ruger LCK, Reverse Tanto, right? HCR13 MOV blade, but she had a little customization and got the date of our uh, first, you know, date together engraved on the knife, which I thought was really neat, so it has a lot of sentimental value. And the other one is a satin spear point blade. And yeah, I like this knife a lot. And uh, after this month, I want to do a 30 day challenge where I carry one knife a week, but I'm not sure which one that'll be. But I really like this one a lot, anyway. Last but not least, I love Kaiser. I have the entire Big Leader set, but this one right here, instead of the full size, this is the Kaiser Mini Big Leader I got from Christmas. Again, from my girlfriend. She's amazing, and I love her. Um, this is a 154 CM blade. Never really used it uh, that much. I don't know the steel that well, but from what I can tell, and I carried it last night, it slices. It gets the job done. It works. I like it. Bag Leaders is my all-time favorite uh, knife design, I think, aesthetically and just functional. I like it. The only thing I don't like about them, each one, even the full size and my titanium right there, no jimping on the back. But you know what? I like it enough where I can deal with it and get through it. So yeah, mini bag leader. And this, my friends, is my first week of 2020 knife rotation. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. It means a lot. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Uh, real quick, guys. Before I forget, um, I did mention the guy who sharpened uh, a couple of my knives. Particularly these three up here. Good. Uh, wow. Okay, that's already out of frame. But anyway, I digress. These three knives right here, I send them in to my buddy, he does good work, mirror polished edges, good prices, and a good guy. So, I did mean to plug them earlier, but I just plain old forgot, because, you know, I'm human. But, anyway, I'm going to give you his card right here, you can pause, get his information, Blade Hacker on Instagram, I'll put his link down below too, if that'll help you out. But yeah, he does great work, he's a great guy, and you should give him a follow. Anyway, now... I'm officially done. Take care, guys.